Not not just 80% yeah. of the population that play video games. 80% of the population total somehow. Probably. What's the matter, Chuck? Me? Gungaga. Oh, my. I've converted you. Okay. So you just decided to hang out in Gungaga? Well, I mean, this is where we woke up. You know, because Cloud had his coma. Like, did, did Oh, did we wake up in Gungaga after that? Yeah, Gungaga is where Cloud wakes up after he freaking punches himself in the face. No, I forgot that. Oh! Red's current health is the... year. That's funny. Oh. Mm. Good for you, Red. I sure do hate 2022. This really is just 2020 part 3. Okay, so where the 2020 dash 2. Okay, so I have to go after Aerith. Alright, so the entrance to where you're going, I believe, is in Bone Village. Oh, way back there? Yeah. Uh, remember the Forbidden Forest? It's awake now. If you had actually gone in, the, the first screen of the Forbidden Forest is the screen where Aerith was having her walking around talking to these scenes. Ah, uh, look at that glorious draw distance. Okay, well, there's Niflheim. I don't know why, but it feels weird calling it Niflheim, because I'm, like, questioning myself if that's correct, even though I know it is. Does that make any sense at all? I think it's Niflheim and the mountain. Yeah, I think it's Nibelheim. It could ah. be, not Nibelheim. You know what? Yeah. That that could be. Okay, there's the rocket. Where we stole the plane slash boat from. Okay, uh, keep an eye on Twitch and Discord because Discord's having some issues right now. Didn't oh. take long, did it? No, that didn't take at all. Oh, just so, you know, it went back to normal, so nobody touched anything. It's working for the moment. I say is this okay? Uh, this works a lot of fun, isn't it? Bone Village. Right, the audio's weird, but I think I can live with it. Okay, so... Do we need to find the Lunar Harp, or are we good to just go in? I think you need Lunar Harp. A girl in pink and a man in black cape women. Yep, that sounds like plot. Oh yeah, th this is where Cloud's acid trip happened. Just the same screen, isn't it? I 
think you need the lunar heart. Well, shit. Where do I get that thing? Yeah, you just, when you're running forward, you just run forward for all eternity. Alright, so to get the lunar heart, you, one of the guys here will talk to you about how they're excavating, and there's a mini game where you're supposed to, it'll point you in the direction of where the lunar harp is, and you gotta figure out where the all the where the three directions uh, coincide. Okay, hey, I, I would like a lunar harp, sir. Just the lunar harp, my dude. All right, yeah, this is it. So now you can walk around dropping guys, and then once you're done, like drop them in a bunch of different places so that you can get an idea where they're pointing towards. And you're basically trying to triangulate where the lunar harp is. This is a little bit of a pain. <laughs> it usually takes me a couple tries. have to order searches like you need to spend the guild. Since you didn't drop anybody, you didn't get any hints. You I don't I have no idea where it could possibly even be. That would be hilarious, because you didn't actually play the minigame, you just immediately skipped through it and dug in a random location. Alright, so drop staff. You're gonna want to drop several of them so you can triangulate the position, and it can be anywhere on this screen. Aw, uh, that's not a building, I guess. So, the more people you drop, the easier it is to triangulate. I thought Discord was better, but it's skipping now. Okay, again. So yeah, so you see the direction they're facing. You gotta try and find the point that all of them are aimed at. Okay, sure. Game. Damn it. I th I'm not sure, but I think you might have been. And here's the other fun part. It changes every day, so now it's in a different spot. Back. Let's see. The classic blunders of triangulation. Yeah, it's, as far as I'm aware, it's pretty precise. Like, you need to be in exactly the right place. If you're a little too high or a little too low, it won't count. Well, that's, yeah, this is, this is a pain, I know. Why can't Aerith have just left the heart for me? 
Uh, she didn't use the harp. Planet led her through. No, they specifically said she used a harp. It, oh, did they? All right, yeah. I thought. I thought the harp was like you're digging for some mystical thing. No, you just need a lunar harp. Not there's not a the lunar harp. Like if I go back up here, the guy will say that Aerith used a lunar harp. Yo! Woohoo! I tries. paid everything. Not bad. I had three technically. I had one that took time. you five tries, so. Yeah, look. Let's see. One of these guys mentioned that she had a lunar harp. If you have the there lunar harp. There are other items you can excavate here, but I never bother to do it because fuck this minigame. <laughs> the girl in pink who just went and used a lunar harp to get through. Alright. Do I need to use it, or is there a cutscene? You have it so you can get through it. That's all there is to it. Oh. God damn it, Discord. Keeping forests. Is that Vulcan? Alright. Discord's still being a baby. It went back to normal now, but... Oh boy. Alright, yep, there you go, you're through it. Oh. It really is just as long as you have the MacGuffin, you're allowed to get through. I mean, at least it's consistent. Oh no. Killer seahorses. What will we ever do? See, when I saw that they were using an attack called Oh Oh goddammit, Discord. I thought it meant that they were going to make your character dance and lose that turn or something. That'd be hilarious, but no. That happens in Dragon Quest. Like, a lot. Mm. Uh, I hate to do this again, but Discord's being a bitch. I mean, it's not your fault that Discord's being a bitch. Yeah, it just feels like I'm a broken record when Discord's doing it. For a second. There we go. Well, I'm okay. Gonna... I have officially made Maybe. back what I lost from that dumb thing from one battle. Man, I was paying nice. those guys' his entire salary. What is up with Discord Day? He wasn't doing this when we were just talking earlier. Before the stream. No, it was not. It was working fine. Can you, like, still hear me fine? Like, is it just the video that's screwing up? Sometimes. When, when the video stutters, you stutter too. to a very radically interesting location in Final Fantasy VII. Um, Final Maybe, if Discord will let us get there. Welcome to the City of the Ancients. 
It uh looks well and truly fucked. Well, it's it's ancient. Oh, like, like literally, it's these these are ruins. I don't speak ancient. Digging the music right now. Oh yeah, I always because a lot of times when it comes to the ancients in Genova and stuff, they give us some like weird alien music, and yeah, I like it. Yeah, there's this like weird. Oh come on, Discord, work with us here. Oh, okay, so we found a spot to heal. That's yeah, good. you can rest here. Because the ancient, the the city of the ancients is kind of a big dungeon. You're trying to find the entrance to the deepest point of the city. I feel it in my soul. Can Cloud smell darkness? Is he a Riku? Mm, he can smell Sephiroth. So, about the same thing? <laughs> Like, Sephiroth is one darkness, not all darkness in general. Okay, Cloud says that's not where Earth is. Yeah, if you keep going that way later, it leads to the other side of the city into a different part of the world map. But you literally, it, the game literally will not let you pass there until you switch to this too. Sephiroth doesn't mind we're taking our sweet time. Okay, so Cloud says she's down the middle. Because, you know, everyone knows to listen to Cloud. That That is exactly a solid decision for your life. Probably. Maybe. He oh my god, Discord, stop stuttering! I think it might be on your end. All er right. Everything seems solid on mine. Oh. In theory, it's literally let rendering half as much data, so it should be better, hopefully. I'm still getting the little exclamation point of, oh no, I'm struggling but from Discord, but... All right, so yes, this is the house that leads to the middle of the temple of the City of the Ancients. Excitement. Uh, I hope that... Uh, Twitch is having a better what recording the... time. Uh, okay, sure. Yeah. Okay, so I found Pretty the thing. Did you save the game before going down here, bud? When was the last time you saved? Um, start of the stream. Oh, um, if there was a save point up there, use it. <laughs> I didn't see one, but may as well check. 
nothing else, you can go back to that part of the world map and save there. True. Right outside Bone there, sh there should be a save point somewhere around here. I don't remember exactly where. Comet materia. Not terrible. I think it's an attack magic with no element. I do like the sound of attack magic without an element. That means nothing resists it, but nothing's weak to it as well. Basically. been to the right, and this is down the center, so maybe to the left there's a save point? No. To left is a is where chunks of the puzzle that you'll need to come back and solve later in the game are. Uh, I thought there was one in that house where you could uh, rest, but I didn't see the question mark. Nothing else, just walk straight all the way back and you'll exit to the world map and you can save there. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, straight straight through his progression. At least Cloud's getting his steps in, huh? Oh yeah. I actually thought it took longer to get to that middle house you found. I might have ex might. Be. Oh no, you were you were already in the world map, Cameron. Go back the way you came. That explains why the this camera is the world map. Shit. I guess that should have been a good indicator, huh? Yeah. If you have camera control, you're in the world map. If the camera's absolutely garbage, then you're probably on the world map. Or in a fight with the wall. Or in the wall boss fight. Yeah. That was terrible, camera. Like, it was hilarious, but it was terrible. Yeah. I mean, old game. Yeah. What can you do? Uh, remaster it, apparently. You're playing the remaster. Like, the model quality that you're playing, they're still ugly block monsters, but they're better, better models than the original game. That's sad. Okay, so you said that there's mods to make the character models look like the ones from Remake. Are there ones for Remake least... to make them look like the block monsters? I hope so. Stupid, the Discord flicked around for some reason, and I missed like half that sentence, by the way. I was wondering if uh, Remake is going to have mods that make everyone look like the block monsters. Because that sounds hilarious. I hope so. Uh, they're still on the Remake modding scene. They're still trying to get model imports working. <laughs> This looks familiar. Um. Okay. Cloud just needs to decide to jump. He doesn't always feel up to it. Cloud. Discord just needs to decide to work. Holy fuck! <laughs> I'm watching this four frames of the second right now. Why? Just like how Sephiroth was controlling his body earlier, it's happening again, basically. Sephiroth, you jackass. I mean, 
I guess if jackass is the worst thing you can call him. So what even saw was, that one coming. What even was the point of making Cloud almost do it if you were like lining that up just to be a dick? I think they were supposed to like fake out that, that she almost died. So you're like, oh, thank God she's okay. And then they immediately ruined it. Oh, I see. And oh. then the holy materia. The day you sex materia. Uh, maybe. Oh shit. If, if, oh yeah. It is bouncing very Can't conveniently. Material very bouncy. Aw, oh, shit. There was only one of those. The Aerith or the Holy Materia? Yes. North past the Snowy Fields. Okay, so, Sephiroth, I hate to ask, but I think you're being a dumbass here. If your entire plan is to become one with the planet, why didn't you just do the Sabby Sab to yourself? Like... So then it would be his energy joining with the planet. He wants the planet's energy to join with him. Ah, okay. So, semantics. I must go, my people need me. Yep, he dropped a Genova bit on us. Yep. Well, second Genova boss fight. Also, the reason I told you to save the halfway point boss, and as I recall, it can be a little bit difficult. Not super difficult. Like, I think you'll probably be fine, but better safe than sorry. Switching into a uh, Nova thing would be a bit of a mood whiplash, but at the same time, so is having a giant impactful boss fight immediately after a character death. Yeah, like, what, what are you supposed to do here? How do you, like, emotionally do that and then fight a boss? I don't know. Like, this is, as I said, I don't, I'm not really, I didn't really feel much from Aerith's death the first time I watched it. I am looking forward to how Remake does it, because I'm sure Remake will make me feel something. For example, they'll probably hold off this you know, the fight just a little longer. Give you a chance to feel the, the uh, moment before they <laughs> throw the boss fight at you. Like, I like Aerith Steve, but this is not boss music. It's not even the kind of... Am I overleveled because you remember having 1500 health here? I don't think I'm overleveled. I'm like 31, aren't I? A tiny bit over level from when you were money grinding in Cosmo Canyon, but like nothing major. Cause other than that, I don't think you've just stopped and grinded. Not to my knowledge. I hope not to your knowledge. I would be very concerned if you forgot about a grinding session.
off of the camera and just... Maybe it has to do with the port or something? Oh. I honestly can't remember if the camera angle is any better in the previous version. Although I don't really use Titan very much. So it might be a Titan specific problem. Could be well. I leveled some HP plus material. I actually haven't. What? Sedge. Uh, Feher Lofia123 put Sag in the Twitch chat. Ah, uh, yes. Mm. Sedge. Mm -hmm. yeah, I can't wait. I, I really want to see this in Remake because it doesn't really do much for me in OG. But I really like Aerith in Remake, so when we get to this part, I know it's going to hurt. Beat this one. Yeah. yeah. And this would be the scene that they have uh, Zelda standing in in Smash Brothers. Apparently, ancient sink. Yeah, I was about to say. Doesn't that mean she's still alive? Like. But well, then... she's very fresh, I guess, but, like, even alive or dead, bodies still float. <laughs> uh, dead bodies. I'm proud of like... It is Nibelheim, not Nibelheim. Okay, I was just being an idiot. Oh, how's having a crisis? Again, his personality is already pretty fragile right now, and having a character who's supposed to be one of his best friends die is not going to help. Doesn't hurt the fact that, like, seconds before she died, he almost killed her. Yeah. I'll never forgive Sephiroth. So from this point on, the game's going to start showing more of the true underlying of what's going on. It's going to... You're going to learn more and more about the things it's been hiding. to go after Sephiroth again, right? Yeah. Welcome to disc two. Now you can go that way that was locked off. Ah. Thank you, Trauma Flashbacks, for showing me the way to go. The trauma Flashbacks, or is it just Cloud having Sephiroth? Is that like Gadar, but exclusively for Sephiroth? Yes. Okay. Clown, what the fuck? Why, why is he just going... Okay, he just decides to do the entire damn thing, huh? Yep. There is no in-between. Must have an element on Tifa's uh, weapons that heals them. Ice, yeah. She this has... chip punched me. It made me stronger. 
Ray, you're going to, you're entering Final Fantasy VII's equivalent of the Arctic right now, so it makes sense to be ice themed enemies. Okay. In that case, I'll probably want to swap uh, Elemental, huh? Probably. Man, I just noticed that the theme seven seconds till the end in Remake uses this underlying tone they're playing right now. Oh, really? Yeah, that. Yeah, seven seconds to the end is the name of the track that plays while Cloud is trying to use Omni Slash on Sephiroth. Ah, and it doesn't work because he broke the timeline, you frickin' idiot. Yeah, you're not supposed to use that for another 40 hours of gameplay. only climb down, but I'm not sure about that. Oh yeah, it's, it's the greatest thing I've ever seen, and I need more. to go get hunt enemy skill hunting once you have the airship. But you have there are a lot of them that you've passed by that you could have gotten. Discord, no. Discord, why? No, Discord. On the back. Oh, hey, it's a Megalexer. There's, nice. there's only a few of those, you said. I think there's like 50 in the whole game. And that's, you don't get more than that. You can't buy them at shops, so the only ones you get are the ones you find. Is this? Although there is a cheat with a material called W item that you can use to duplicate your um, items, including elixirs, so you can get 99 of them that way. Well, that sounds rude and hilarious. Definitely nice to be able to have a infinite supply of mega Especially for like super bosses and stuff, right? Yeah. I haven't actually done any of the super bosses, but I probably would be that for them. Yeah. 
We are getting kind of close to the point where the super bomb is unlocked. Oh, that's exciting. I'm assuming you have no idea what the super bosses in 7 even are, so I'm keeping quiet about them. I know very little, so that's pretty accurate. What's that a quote from Game of Thrones? I drink and I know things. I don't drink and I don't know things. I don't know, I never watched Game of Thrones Thrones. Yeah, I think that's a quote from- I also don't drink and I don't know things about Game of Thrones. Yeah, I think that's a Tyrion Lannister. So, I don't drink and I don't know things. That's where we're at. Alright. Also, I am tall, I am not the half-man. Where are you? There's a half-man. Um, it's the title- Oh my god. I can't believe it. Bunks has a new video coming out soon. Ooh, really? What's it gonna be? He didn't say as far as I can tell. See if I can get a closer look. I see Spongebob stuff. From Battle for Bikini Bottom. Both old and rehydrated. Oh, interesting. Maybe she's doing some sort of comparison or thoughts and feelings of new versus old, I don't know. But literally the last video she uploaded was last year for Kingdom Hearts 3 for beginners. Oh yeah, that was. Huh, I wonder if this is the snow area. Did you ever watch that? About. Yeah, KH3 for beginners, I have. It's like an oh, hour long glorious. video, oh, but it is quality. It is. I think my favorite one for her is still Persona 5 for beginners. But like, Kingdom Hearts 3 and Breath of the Wild are the Um, I think... Uh, one of the funniest ones, just in context of things that have happened since the video came out, is uh, Persona 4 Golden for beginners. Because one of the things she says I know in I've it seen is, that, but it's been a while. Is, please let this game die. Atlas says no. <laughs> Atlas says no, yeah. And Atlas refuses to let Persona 4 die. And don't get me wrong, I, mean, I didn't, love Persona Didn't when they ported it to, uh, first, didn't when they ported it to PC, it actually caught up to Persona 5 in sales because of it? Uh, yeah. It, it actually... Okay, so it's a 2012 game. It was released in 2020 on the Steam Store and broke Steam records. Now, speaking of Persona 4, our no longer driving an hour away broke one of my plans because I thought that I might bring my PS Vita and play through some Persona 4 on the drive. God damn it. <laughs> Holy shit, these are strong. Except Holy for- Holy shit, you haven't bought a new weapon in a long time. It's called a Larry. <laughs> I bought weapons like in the last town. Don't give me that shit. Here's some shit for you. Okay. Aw, oh, you took that shit like a true shit taker. Yeah, it sounds like me. <laughs> it's a bat! <laughs> it's a freaking bat! It doesn't have any materials left, it's just a bat with nails in it! Oh, did you find the, uh... Nail bat. The na oh, the nail bat! Oh, yeah. The nail bat's Cloud's joke weapon. I don't remember what everyone... Uh, uh, oh, wait, no. Uh, I believe Barrett's joke weapon is the wrecking ball. I, I can't remember what Tifa's would be. Wait. The dragon armlet drains half of any of those three elements that hit you? That could be useful. Better. 
That's plus 10 magic. That's some pretty good materia. Yeah. Wow. I actually have a lot of materia slots now. What the fuck? Yeah. Wow, you can level up your chocobo catching skills. Just like you always wanted. Aha. There's something exactly something I want to do with my time. Uh, if you've got an extra space, probably throw a manipulator on there so you can start leveling it up for when you need it. Did you ever take it off Catasith? Does he still have that? He might. Okay, well that's an easy fix. By the power of self Yeah, time, time to mug him for his stuff, yeah. I yeah. love how they build up that he's about to die and then he immediately is like, Hey guys, I'm fine. Hey, is Cloud having a, 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 a conniption right now? I mean, what's that thing? Um, I, I would love to help you, but it seems like you're having an episode. Something like that. From Spongebob. Oh, Yeah, and you still have room for more slots. That almost feels rude, but I'm very happy that it exists. You do still have, uh, I think you're pretty much, you're, you'll probably be able to get both Bahamut, uh, Neo Bahamut and Bahamut Zero, so there's two powerful summons left. And then depending on if you decide to do any of the extra shit, there's also Knights of the Round, which is the most powerful summon in the game. Okay, Meow says cat. I... That's a very, like, grabbable-looking snowboard. What's with the camera angles here? I mean, that's the name of the game here, but... No, I'm trying to talk to the person. Jesus Christ, cat. Meow. Meow. Hero drink. And... Oh, hey, it's a vaccine. Reach the northern limits without a map if you think I'm going to better take it. Oh! He's just giving us the map. How nice of him. Nice. Let's look at it. Ah, yes. I can't read. <laughs> You actually will need to use that map to get through this upcoming dungeon thing. Okay, so there are obvious landmarks on the map, and you can tell which way to go from the landmarks. That's basically all there is to it. Interesting. Two hundred go. That's robbery. Oh no, now we're Yenilis. Alright, are you proud of yourself? Hey, I didn't write that joke. Sweet Life on Deck wrote that joke years ago. God, I, I missed that show. I almost forgot about it. I remember really enjoying it. It's, it was just bad enough that I remembered. It was the uh, the episode where, like, I think it was their mom was doing some sort of modeling gig with a Japanese company, and the kids broke something, and they wanted her to pay for it in yen. 
But, like, she's American. She doesn't have yen. So she tells him she's yenniless. I love that that's a joke that exists in both forms. Like, that exists for American pennies and for Japanese yen. If I'll know. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that Aerith's mom? Yeah, if all know was Aerith's mom, yes. Noble's bowl. I guess I'd make this guy her dad. Think, maybe. 